tonight at 7, Sale returns to its normal format. At 7.30, who will Jay Lagaya catch out on Surprise Surprise? Followed by Water Rats and Stingers. This program brought to you by Solver Decorator Centres. Solver your decorating problems at a Solver Decorator Centre. Tonight on the world's richest quiz, we're offering a sensational kitchen package. A $26,000 dining table. The powerful Alfa Romeo 156 Monza. And a cash jackpot of $230,000. All on Australia's premier quiz. Sale! of the new century. And now here's Glenn Rich. Thank you very much, Peter. So, hello, everyone. How are you? Welcome to Sale of the New Century. It's great to be with you on this Tuesday night, particularly after our Sale of the Century Millionaire Challenge. We had a fantastic time over the last 11 nights. And of course, the good doctor, Dr. Trevor Sauer, coming through. A very, very happy man. And whenever we talk fame game, we say to Trevor, who am I? And he immediately says Hippocrates now, without even thinking. Certainly a great way to finish and a good finish too by the doctor too. But we're back to normal now and let's get into it. Would you please welcome uh, Karina Brown. Oh, uh, all right. He has the lurgy. Don't you reckon I, I sound really know. husky oh. and... Oh, the look on his face. I tell you what, you should be on the redhead box, the, the oh. matches box. <laughs> Funny you should say that. Oh. <laughs> it's actually a dress designed by Lisa Barron for the redhead matches exhibition. So this is what Lisa thinks a redhead matches lady should wear. Oh, so there you go. Very <laughs> stunning, though. It is, isn't it? Very nice. Hey, now, we must uh, thank a lot of people who helped us out with the Millionaire Challenge. Uh, for, uh, in particular, all the uh, viewers at home who went to the trouble of phoning in. Of course, one lucky person, $100,000 cool <laughs> cash, and also the and Alpha, the Alpha spider. spider. And uh, also all the uh, people who took part, too, the contestants who came from all the way around Australia. Paddy it was Spooner. a fun two weeks. Yeah, Paddy yeah. coming from the UK as well, especially to be with us. But it was a fantastic series. Uh, but now we're back to normal, aren't we? We are. And, Poor uh, Laurie's been waiting for a couple of weeks. He has, <laughs> sitting there patiently. So let's introduce our uh, carryover champ. This is our carryover champion, Laurie Martin from Beaumaris, Victoria. On his last episode, Laurie picked up $15 on the fame game to secure a place in the final round and went on to win a neck and neck fast money. He joins us for his second night, risking a garden care package valued at $8,410. Hello, Laurie. Hello, Glenn. Great to have you back with us again. Thank you. Good to be back. Just recapping an advertising manager? Uh, well, yes, general manager of an, an advertising and marketing consultancy. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm sorry. That's so you're right. above the advertising manager then, really, aren't you? <laughs> well, hey, good no. to have you with us. The kids are at home, three of them cheering you on, I'm sure. Well, I hope so. Well, let's see how they go. Good luck to you, Laurie. We Thank do you. have three challenges for you, though. So uh, who are they, Karina? Our first challenger is a small business owner. She's met several prominent people, such as George Bush and Prince Andrew, and she'd love to be the world's best potter. From Southport, Queensland, welcome Paula Murray. Hello, Paula. Hello, Glenn. Our second challenger is a communications consultant. He has a flair for furniture design and would love to become an architect. From Craigmore, South Australia, welcome Michael Potter. Hello, Michael. And our third challenger is a lawyer. He enjoys bushwalking and touch football, and his ambition is to climb K2. From East Brunswick, Victoria, welcome Damien Walsh. Hello, Michael. Uh, Damien, nice to have you with us too. Well, it is, but I was just thinking we've got Michael Potter and Paula wants to be a potter, so we've got potters all over the place here. Damien, nice to have you with us. Thank We're you. going to get straight into it. $20 starting money for all of our players. Do you feel sorry for me? I do. Oh, lovely. We'll see Enjoy you soon. Enjoy the game, everyone. All right, let's get into it. Recapping Laurie, our carryover champion risking garden uh, wear and uh, that's eight thousand four hundred and ten dollars worth so good luck to you all first question performing dangerous or difficult feats as a profession in motion pictures is Michael stuntman that's correct is a what man which space surrounded by buildings as at a college is shortened to quads Laurie quadrangle that's right in humans resting on the underside of the right portion of the liver is the pear shaped Michael pancreas no, a pear-shaped sac called the what bladder, the gallbladder. Here's a visual question. Uh, from the organisation's founder comes what nickname for the person pictured here? 
Laurie. Bobby. Bobby is correct, or Peeler we would have accepted, and of course that was named after Sir Robert Peel and an English police officer there. Which 1977 hit song for UK rock group Queen was later adopted as a theme song, Michael? Bohemian Rhapsody. For sports fans and politicians around the world, kind of killed that one, didn't it, Michael? <laughs> we are the champions. Gift shop time, and uh, Laurie, our champ, is in the lead. You're on $30, Laurie. You are $10 ahead of Paula and Damien, and you have the opportunity to buy here with Karina. If costly repairs are tightening the screws on your budget, here's your chance to fix them with this 220-piece professional toolkit. It includes a full range of spanners, sockets, pliers and shifters housed in a handy wall cabinet. Along with a creeper, it's valued at $1,980, but tonight just $7 from King Chrome and Sale of the Century. This is a fabulous prize and uh, Laurie, before we get into this, I was just thinking with the stunt double. Some people have thought you were uh, the double for Andy Thomas, haven't they? Yes, that's right. Andy Thomas was the Australian astronaut. Seven dollars going once, going twice, going three times. No, no sale. All right, nothing changing here. Laurie's still holding on to the lead of thirty dollars. Back to the questions. Played with for relaxation or distraction is a string of what? Michael. Worry leads. That's correct. Which small container for carrying water or other drinks is also a store in a school? Michael. Canteen. That's right, where food and drinks are sold or given out. Time for brain drain. So ready, players? Here's the question. I am a city. I was founded in 1819 on the site of a, a Chickasaw Indian village. Future US President Andrew Jackson was one of my founders. I am located on the Mississippi River. A Confederate military centre during the US Civil War. I was Paula. New Orleans? No. Back to the question. I was captured by Union forces in 1862. Beale Street in my downtown area was an early centre of jazz. The assassination of Dr Martin Luther King occurred in me in 1968. Elvis Presley launched his career from Damien. Memphis. I am Memphis, that's correct. Memphis, Tennessee. And answering in the $10 zone, Damien. So it takes you up to $30 and sharing the lead with Laurie. On with the questions. What is the surname of the criminal family featuring in the Godfather film and its... Damien. Corleone. That's correct, and it's two sequels. You're in the lead now, Damien. Which athlete lit the flame at the opening ceremony of the... Laurie. Kathy Freeman. Of the Sydney Olympics. Yes, you picked that correctly. Well done, Laurie. First of our fame game questions, $10 being placed behind one of our famous faces. Who am I? Born in California in 1972, I left school at the age of 16 to become a model and for the next five years travelled the globe appearing in ads for Calvin Klein and Coke. Returning to California to begin a career in movies, I won a role in The Mask before appearing in Feeling Minnesota and as Harvey Keitel's wife in Head Above Water. A tall blonde, Damien. Cameron Diaz. I am Cameron Diaz, that's correct. Of course, uh, being John Malkovich and Oliver Stone to any given Sunday, some of her recent works. Sharing the lead with Laurie on $35, Damien. You can skip into the lead in your own right if you pick correctly. And tonight our famous faces are... Keeping us in touch, David Margan. A Current Affair. Anita Hegg. Stingers. Ian Ross. National Nine News in Sydney and also the Today Show. Rebecca Gilling. Our house. Lil Dukali. Lil comes from Leonay in New South Wales and enjoys playing with his dog Muffin and hopes to one day win the car on sale of the century. Good luck with that, Lil, and great to have you with us. Tony Scanlon. Water Rats. Jay Lagaya. Surprise, surprise. Candy. Single Girls. And Matthew Perry. From Friends. So, Damien, for a possible $10, who would you like? Uh, Rebecca Gilling. Good luck, lovely lady. Here's Rebecca from our house. Damien, you've won this cotton riding coat, sweater and Burke and Wills hat, oiled and waxed to repel water, valued at $542 from Dries Bone. Nice prize, Damien, but the money stays hidden. And before we go to the break, we have our viewers' question, today being the 24th of October. On this day in 1537, dying 12 days after giving birth to the future King Edward VI, was which wife of Henry VIII? We'll be back after this break with the answer to that question and also to see how our players are going. Laurie, our champ, sharing the lead with Damien on $35. Welcome back to round two on the sale. The answer to our viewers' question, dying on this day in 1537, was James Seymour, his third wife, uh, the third wife of Henry VIII. Close game on our hands, Damien and Laurie both sharing the lead on $35. First question for the round. A pale imitation of the Australian champion sweepstakes when it began in 1861 was which horse race now Australia's most important? Damien. Melbourne Cup. That's correct. And in the lead, Damien. Only is the latest album for one of Australia's most respected musicians, guitarist Tommy Who. Damien. Emmanuel. Correct. 
Get shot time and Damien, you have the opportunity to buy here. You have a lead of $10 over Lurry, $45 to spend and here's Karina. You don't need a special occasion to enjoy elegant dining with this beautiful dinner set. All pieces are made of fine porcelain china featuring 22 karat gold trimmings to complement the intricate red design, including a matching stainless steel cutlery set, coffee server and milk creamer, it's usually $4,280, but tonight only $10 from Cordon Bleu and us, sale of the century. This is beautiful, isn't it? Now, Karina, I do know, Damien, you enjoy fine things, and uh, i got a funny feeling you like this setting. Over $4,000 worth, $4,280 to be exact, for two questions. Going once. It's gorgeous, this. it's very timeless. Mm. Mm. I'll bring it down to $9. Going twice, so you'll still be in the lead if you buy. Okay, and Damien's board. Well done, Damien. So, uh, you are in the lead. Albeit by just $1, though. Damien on $36. Back to the questions. Worn on uniforms, chiefly by military officers, are which ornamental shoulder pieces? Michael. Epaulets. That's right. Attributed to the American Indians is what term for a white person? Michael. White man. <laughs> 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 well, I've got to tell you, I've got pale face here, but I can... I have to check that. Not going to take that? No. Sorry, Michael, <laughs> but we did ask. Pale face was the answer we needed. Fast money, 30 seconds up on the clock. Uh, Damien on 36 and Laurie on 35. And your time starts now. Located in which American state is Disneyland? Michael. Um, California. Yes, what is our fourth month? Michael. April. Yes, an attempt to industrialise which country was the Great Leap Forwards? Damien. China. Yes, uh, what would you usually be doing if performing the Fandango? Michael. Dancing. Yes, uh, from which modern language comes the expression Dolce Vita? Michael. Spanish. Italian. The symbol of which sign of the zodiac is the crab? Michael. Cancer. Yes, co-star of the film Zorba the Greek was Anthony who? Paula. Quinn. Yes, uh, located and a great fast money there on uh, Damien and Michael's behalf. Still a close game. The champ trailing a little now. Damien in the lead on 41, Michael 40, Laurie 35 and Paula on 25, which means, Paula, you do need a correct answer and some money to have a chance of staying in the game here. Who am I? Born in Texas in 1939, I was raised in a house that had no electricity and after finishing primary school, had a variety of jobs before joining the Marines. In 1967, after a time as an assistant professional at various golf courses, I competed in the US Open and surprised many by finishing fifth and the following year amazed even more when I took out the title. A stockily built player with a cheerful, talkative nature. In 1971, I repeated my earlier victory and also captured the Canadian Open and the first of two British Opens. Mm, Paula. Lee Trevino. I am Lee Trevino. That's correct. Nicknamed Supermax. So, well answered, Paula. I couldn't think of his name. I knew. <laughs> Are you a golfer? No. You're not? <laughs> not at all. Great get then. $10, $15 on the board somewhere. You do need uh, at least $10 to stay with us. So who would you like? Ian Ross, please. Ian Ross, Roscoe from National 9 News in Sydney. Is the money there? It is. <laughs> the $10 is there. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Which means we go to an elimination question. Paula and our champ, Laurie, both on $35. So to the two of you, a, co a correct answer will keep you in the game. Who am I? Born in England in 1885 and dying in 1930, I had my first story published in a newspaper. My first novels, The White Peacock and The Trespasser, showed a brief glimpse of my talent and I went on to become one of the most controversial authors of my day. I am best remembered for such works as Sons and Lovers, The... Laurie. Lawrence. That's correct, I am D.H. Lawrence. So the chant lives on. Uh, Laurie's going to stick with us, but unfortunately, Paula, we do have to say goodnight to you. Bye. Thank you very much for playing, though. Thank you. Now, it's a close game on our hands, only $6 separating all three players, and we'll be back right after this break for round three. Welcome back to Sale of the New Century. This is the cash card round, and Damien, you're in the lead on $41. Round three questions. Controlling nearly 40% of South Africa's gold, half of its coal, as well as most of the world's diamonds, was the late Harry who? Damien. Oppenheimer. Correct. Played by Anthony Newley in David Lean's 1948 film Oliver Twist, was the character of John Dawkins, better known as the artful what? Michael. Dodger. That's right. Cash card time and Damien, you have the opportunity to play here. It is a close game. You're on 46, Michael's on 45 and Laurie's on 35. $15 is all it will cost. Pick up $5,000. One in four chance. What would you like to do? Uh, 
I'll pass, Tony. You'll pass? Pass, yes. Too close for comfort? Can I understand yep. that. If you did decide to play, though, Damien, uh, which suit would you have gone for? Hearts. Hearts. Okay. Would we have started oh, the week off with $5,000, Karina? Let's find out. It would have been... Oh, oh the take five. Would have Where been handy. You needed clubs tonight. Clubs was what we needed, so nothing changing here. Damien's still in the lead on $46. Back to the questions. In 1969, becoming the youngest MP in the House of Commons since William Pitt was Irish University student and activist Bernadette who? Laurie. Devlin. That's correct. Uh, Aged 21 when she was elected. In law, the offence of obstructing a public road, polluting air and water, or keeping explosives... Damien. Tort? Now, you're a lawyer too, aren't you, Damien? <laughs> it's called a public what? A public nuisance was the answer we needed. <laughs> Fame game question. I had a very close game on our hands. Michael in the lead on 45, Damien on 41. Laurie, our champ, once again, trailing on $40. You do need the correct answer here and some money to stay in the game, Laurie. So, who am I? Born in New York City in 1923 and dying in 1977, I left the United States at 13 to study in Europe and made my first major appearance in 1941 as Tosca. Joining La Scala, I won a claim as Norma, Lucia, Lucia de Lammermoor and many roles in long neglected operas. Playing large stages throughout the US and Europe, I played the title role in the film version of Medea in 1970, and by the time I retired, had performed over 40 roles and recorded more than 20 different operas. Known for the distinctive colour of my voice, my dramatic presence, and my careful musicianship, my first name is Maria and... Callus. Damien. Callus. That's correct. I am Maria Callas. Well answered. Uh, so, Damien, you have the opportunity to pick from our famous faces. Can give you a really good lead as we go into the Mad Minute, too. So, who would you like? Um, Jay Lagaya. From Surprise Surprise, does he have the money? Damien, you won a hamper chock-a-block full of world-class Australian-made chocolates valued at $502 from Chocolatier. I reckon that's a fabulous price, Damien. <laughs> I'm sure you want to know where the money is, though. Where was it, Karina? David Margan had the wild card, Anita Hegg had the 15, and Tony Scanlon had the $25. Thanks, Karina. So that's where the money was, and Laurier carryover champ, unfortunately, you needed some of that money. You are leaving us, though, uh, with the pen and also the theatre at screening. $3,797 worth of prizes. It's been fantastic having you with us. Thank you very much for playing. Thank you. So less than one question is separating our two surviving players. Michael in the lead on 45, Damien on 41. And we'll be back right after this break to see how they go in the Mad Minutes. Time for the Mad Minutes to decide who our new carryover champ is going to be. Less than one question separating both of our players. Michael in the lead on 45, Damien on 41. So good luck to you both. 60 seconds up on the clock, and your time starts now. Someone resembling their parent is called a chip off the old... Michael. Block. Yes, separating England and which other country is the Strait of Dover? Damien. English Sea. France. Uh, founder of the Christian Science Faith was Mary Baker who? Eddie. An uh, Australian breed of cattle dog is the Queensland blue what? Damien. Healer. Yes, uh, on which part of the body would you wear plimsolls? Michael. Feet. Correct. Uh, how many shillings made up a guinea? Michael. 14. 21. Captain of which national cricket team was Clive Lloyds? Michael. South Africa. West Indies. The star of the film My Little Chickadee was WC Who? Damien. Fields. Yes. Uh, what kind of sea creature is the blue swimmer? Michael. It's crab. Correct. Of which Indonesian province is Denpasar the capital? Damien. Java. Bali. Mouth-to-mouth uh, -mouth resusc resuscitation is also called the kiss of what? Michael. Life. Yes. Uh, which vowel is not contained in the word platitudes? Michael. E. Oh, how many limbs has a uh, tetrapod? Michael. Five. Four. Which country is home to the Kirov Ballet? The answer being Russia, but Michael, you've won the game on $45. In fact, we've started and finished the way we started. Michael on 45, Damien on 41. Great game, Michael. Very, very tight there in the end. Damien, bad luck. You do leave us with clothing, dinner set and chocolates, a value of $5,324. Thanks for playing. Great having you with us, Damien. Hope you enjoyed yourself. And uh, you and all of our other players tonight are picking up these gifts. Glenn, they'll continue their sale experience with the Sale of the Century board game from Crown and Andrews and take home our solid sterling silver pin from Shimani Jewelry and Sale of the Century. Congratulations, Michael. Well played. Mm -hmm. That was a great battle between yourself and Damien all the way through the night. You're the victor, so let's go shopping. Come on through. We'll have a look at a few things.
Now, for this week, we have the fabulous Alfa Romeo 156 Monza with us. Uh, yeah, unfortunately for you, it's not there tonight, though. <laughs> Although there is one fabulous prize, which I'm sure you'd like. Have a look at this trip. Take off to new heights in Lauda's luxurious Amadeus class, bound for one of the world's greatest cities. You and the partner will experience the excitement and splendour of London, spending five nights at the elegant Chelsea Village Hotel, including $3,000 spending money from AMZ cards, plus super-efficient first-class transfers between Central London and Heathrow. It's valued at $20,613 from Heathrow Express and Lauda. That's a fabulous trip and it's on the board tonight, Michael. So, uh, what numbers would you like? Um, can I have number 11, please? You certainly can, on the bottom row. Painting. Uh, can I have number 6? In the middle, looking for that. Oh, pattern. a great trip. Uh, number 5. <laughs> I got it if you like. Thank you. Over here, it's the sea -Doo. Uh Number 2. Up the top row. The sea, the sea -Doo. You'll love this. It's an awful lot of fun. $11,500 worth. And here it is. Michael, greet the summer sun with a wave of excitement aboard the dynamic GS sea -Doo. Boasting easy handling with superb stability and great comfort, this two-seater comes with everything you need to make a splash, including extra fuel capacity, a theft deterrent system, and 50% less engine noise than most watercraft, including trailer and registration. It's valued at $11,500 from A-Track Australia. As we head in towards summer, that's a fantastic prize from c -Doo. And that's yours. Of course, come back tomorrow night, uh, and it could be the Alfa Romeo, the 156 Monza. Let's have a look at it. Embrace the performance and styling that has always been the mainstay of the Alfa Romeo tradition. The 156 Monza combines a race-spread spirit with state-of-the-art technology, including a 2-litre twin-spark engine, 16-inch alloy wheels, and sport side skirts. An emphasis on comfort and safety, such as front and side airbags, and a full leather interior makes the Monza an exhilarating driving experience. It's valued at $47,500, plus on-road costs. Alfa Romeo, the heart and soul of sports cars. It's a great car, the Alfa Romeo 156 Monza. And have a look up here, because here's our cash jackpot tonight, Michael. Tonight's cash jackpot is $230,000. Adding up, we'd love to give that to someone. $230,000. Now, if you come back tomorrow night, you will be risking $11,500 worth of sea -Doo. Still around us, though, nearly $125,000 worth of prizes. So will we see you tomorrow night? Yeah, I'm having fun. I would hope so, yes. So Michael's coming back to join Hi, us Michael. again. And Thank we'll you. look forward to your company as well as we continue with more on sale. So until then, take care. Bye-bye. Good night. See ya. This program brought to you by Solver Decorator Centres. Solver your decorating problems at a Solver Decorator Centre.